Live from the Quinton River in downtown Rochester is a honey badger verse of a day. And it's a classic verse. In fact, a lot of social reformers and theologians, they'd use this verse. Malachi 6, 8. He has showed you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly before your God. And these are the attributes of God. God wants us to be humble. God wants us to be dependent on him. And God wants our hearts to be pure because when our hearts are pure, we're able to see people with the eyes of God and see their needs and be able to help them and meet their needs. Hosea 14.3 says, referring to God, in him orphans find mercy. And if God wants us to be like him, we need to show mercy to people who need mercy. We need to show justice when people are being taken advantage of. The weakest voice deserves the greatest defense. And Psalm 68.5, the psalmist David says, he is a father of the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his dwelling. We need to take up social causes when we see people are mistreated, but we need to do it in the power of the Holy Spirit and with the love of God. And James, the brother of Jesus, said this, true religion, it's taking care of the widows and the orphans and keeping oneself from being polluted by the world. When we become polluted, all we can see is our own desires. Matthew 5, 8 says, a pure in heart will see God. And when we see God, we see people and we see that they're created in the image of God and want to help them. And I'm going to end on Jeremiah 22:16, And it says he has defended the cause of the poor and needy, and he found favor in the eyes of the Lord. And it says this too, is this not what I do, says the Lord? So when we take care of the widows, the orphans, and help them out, when we seek justice for the people who are taken advantage of, we're doing the work of God and we're showing the attributes of God, love, mercy, grace to those in need. And below, share some of the ways you can show justice for people in need, how you can help out people who need the grace and love of God.